It's just stupid. If he had a members only live, yeah. And people only fucking super chat him. They only join just to piss me off. Somebody even sent a super chat saying that just to piss her off. So who cares? I don't care. Just like, do you think you're going to have a big lengthy YouTube career yourself? Just like talking shit about other people. You don't even talk shit. You're boring. You just sit there well, talking like this and welcoming people and talking about possible theories that don't even fucking make any sense. You're a loser. That's all you're ever going to be. This is, look how much they do with the Chantal. People will still do it. Because they don't take action. Because I told her today, instead of go crying, losing your views, whatever you do, I'm not agree with what you do. Hey everybody, welcome back. What a day, what a day, what a day such a day was. Because right now for me, it's Sunday. It might still be Saturday for you at the time you listen or watch this video but it's Sunday for me and what a day August 20th was because many things were happening as well as distractions so Foodie Beauty was raging at me specifically mostly and she's angry she's angry because her views are down and people are not giving her a lot of super chats plus Nader El Shami was on a striking tirade he struck myself gary meandering thoughts troll detective cauliflower and a whole host of other people that i cannot remember off the top of my head right now yes piggy piggy also got struck and what foodie beauty did after raging at me was distraction she had to distract from what was happening because Nader was still doing his thing at the time of this recording he actually is going off on his Nadi daddy channel striking channels while he's on live stream and we shall see how that goes because I'm not one to shy away from giving up my info my email address my um, address my name everything hey my phone number hey I'll give it up you know he's got a couple days to take me to court if not the strike comes off i ain't afraid i uh, that's not a problem for me but remember this is a distraction is what foodie beauty was doing she was reacting if you can even use that word reacting to her old content uh wasn't really much of a reaction really it was rather just playing her old stuff while sitting and watching it not much of a reaction at all, but this was all a distraction to the bigger picture of what Nader El Shami was doing. Because how did Nader learn to do this? Well, of course, it was Foodie Beauty. He said Foodie Beauty helped him strike my channel the first time. And I'm pretty sure she was helping him this round, but it seems everybody was getting it. He just doesn't understand that him putting out that much strikes and if people feel to give up their information is really gonna you know and poorly for him is how i will put it in the kindness of words because how much does he make on youtube a month maybe three four thousand he has the potential to even make five that's a pretty good chunk of income even at three thousand dollars a month um they say what is it the uh the average person oh no it wouldn't be average it's more like uh the mean right the mean would be I think still thirty thirty five thousand dollars a year in America and in Canada something along those lines, so you making three four thousand dollars a month is actually pretty good when you gauge it against that that um, there's a lot of people out there that don't make anything close to that there's a lot of people living at or below the poverty line there's a lot of stuff happening right now in the world where if you can make some money. Decent amount of money. It doesn't have to be really good amount of money. Just a decent amount of money. You, you're you okay. So to really put that in jeopardy um, is rather foolish. I know he's in his feelings and all. But it's still at the end of the day rather foolish. 
to be doing what he's doing because it's just gonna come turn around and bite him in the butt so uh footy beauty she's distracting natter is striking and she is shielding him in a passive uh passively aggressive way where she is just streaming 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 and trying to not one speak about what's happening as well as not speak about natter and try and do and say everything else other than what is really happening it's all over twitter it's all over instagram it's everywhere but why isn't she talking about it? because she doesn't want to she doesn't want people to know that it's happening because a lot of people aren't really that into the girl verse into the chantel verse into the niche where if they don't hear it um from chantel's channel uh, sometimes they don't check reaction channels, they don't check their Instagram, they don't check Twitter, or they don't even have Instagram or Twitter. So she, they're getting their information from Chantel, which is a rather poor choice to get your information from. But some people do actually do that. And when you don't know, you don't know. And there's a lot of companies, states, counties, places, cities that rely on you having a lack of information because it actually is advantageous to them and foodie beauty and netter are just like that they're no exception so what can i say at the end of the day chantel i believe she has been talking to netter she can deny it all she wants but he did kind of goof up so to speak when he said that he was talking to her so once again I shall see what happens when it comes to his strikes. I have no problem, you know, doing a counter notification, giving up all my information, including my phone number, my email, my address, my name, and everything else. Other people, I can't really speak for. It's up to them. Some people are not comfortable. Some people will let the strikes stay on. Some people will just remove all their videos. So it's really up to them how comfortable they are and how much they want to fight back. Other than that, at the end of the day, we shall see what Chantel does tomorrow because these uh, paywall membership live streams did rather poorly. A lot of people weren't able to watch them because a lot of people are not members, but they still want to watch the streams. And based on the views of her, these live streams, they they're not doing that well. So. Hey, we shall see what tomorrow holds, but all I'm saying is that she needs to change her strategy. Other than that, leave me a like, leave me a comment, and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll talk to you later. Take care, have a good one, peace.